Well, thank you for the ride. Well, we are officially here in Vegas, the Flamingo. I don't think you could ask for a better view. I mean, right there is the Flamingo sign, and we're looking right at the strip. Directly across from us is Caesar's Palace. Okay, so we were just up in our room, and this happens to be the northern exit of the Flamingo, where there is a nice drag strip here that you can walk north or south and there is plenty of places to eat if i was to give you any recommendations especially if you want to try and save money if you go down here towards the ferris wheel down here to the right is an in and out burger not only are their burgers amazing their fries are amazing it's just cheap quality food and down here to the left is the yard house i can't express how amazing that place is for the money the value and what you get a variety of food is superb now at the northern exit here, if you go northbound on this drag strip, if you want my words of advice, especially if you want to drink cheap, the cheapest way, at least what we found, was to go to Walgreens by far. Matter of fact, we're Coors fans, Coors Banquet. You can get a 30 pack of Coors Banquet at Walgreens, 31 bucks roughly, 32 bucks. We're talking a little over a buck a can. You're not gonna find that anywhere else in Vegas. And matter of fact, what we did is we actually loaded up our backpack. We went to literally every single casino, a couple miles walking distance, right Amanda? They didn't give two craps about us walking in to their casino with our backpack. Drinking beer after beer at roughly a dollar a piece, it's hands down the cheapest way. All right, so there's the exit that we just came out of. And we're going northbound here. Matter of fact, Margaritaville is right here. Here's the main drag strip. Now, if you come out this way and take a right or go northbound, that's where Walgreens is located. And I'll show you, especially if you want to pay out the nose for alcohol. All right, so I'm not really big into McDonald's, but there is a McDonald's just north of the Flamingo. Now, if you want some other words of advice, do not eat at this Outback Steakhouse. I've had better food at a gas station than this Outback. All right, so it's not that long of a walk. I mean, we're talking only about five minutes, roughly. And directly across from the Mirage, you can go to Walgreens. And if you need extra supplies, especially when it comes to alcohol, you're not going to get any cheaper. Bottles of wine for six bucks. And this is what we were getting, Coors, 30 cans for 31 bucks. So roughly a little over a dollar a piece. It's just not gonna get any cheaper than that. But yeah, hands down, the cheapest alcohol you are gonna get in Vegas and like I said we loaded up our backpack and we literally hit every single casino within a five four mile radius I'm guessing from the Flamingo no one gave two craps about what we we're doing <laughs> drinking out of our backpack we took it back to our hotel room and for a little over a dollar a piece it's hard to beat six dollars <laughs> all right so that's where we just came from from walgreens and here's the sign for in and out burger here is the corner of the flamingo or margaritaville here's the strip just north of the flamingo the in and out burger yard house it's an amazing amazing place if we follow the main drag here on the main strip i'm going to start this tour of the flamingo right on the main entrance so here's the front entrance of the flamingo 
I'm gonna quick take you inside Margaritaville here. So this is located directly across from Caesar's Palace. We checked out Margaritaville. The prices were okay, but I would say they're a little on the high side. I'd probably recommend taking my advice on this okay. one. Just walk down that northern drag strip of the Flamingo, go down to the yard house, just Google it. You should be able to find out where it's at. You cannot beat their food, especially for the money. And their drinks are not stupid expensive, but they're not exactly stupid cheap. Um, but that was definitely our go-to place while we were staying here. All right, right across from the main entrance of the Flamingo is Hell's Kitchen. We actually didn't go there. Kind of expected it to be way out of our price range. Um, but hey, if you want the experience, it's there. All right, so we are at the front entrance here, and this is the iconic Flamingo billboard fluorescent sign. Let's hit inside. All right, so right as you enter in the front, nothing but slot machine. Over here, you get your roulette and blackjack tables. Now this kind of makes a circle. You know, you can go either take a right or you can take a left. If you go to the right, there is the hotel lobby, uh, box office to left is the food court. Here's the Flamingo showroom and more slot machines. Now over here to the left is the food court, which they call food hall. All right, so we're back into the slot machines. A little bit of a bar here. Now, before I head over this way to the whole hotel lobby, just let me sh show you guys here, there's a Carlos and Charlie. You know, kind of a Mexican establishment. You know, their prices were okay. But once again, going now northbound here to the northern exit and hitting the main drag off of the main strip and hitting up those establishments. Now, to the left here is Bugsy's and Myers' is a steakhouse. We didn't even attempt to eat here. Uh, it definitely looks way too much out of our price range. <laughs> right out from the steakhouse, they got a little bit of an outdoor garden area. And it wouldn't be much of a Flamingo hotel without Flamingos. So it's about, oh, January, second week of January. 50, 60 degrees, I'm sure those flamingos aren't exactly happy. All right, so just before we go out the northern exit here, you have an essentials to go. But I'm gonna be honest with you, why go here when you can go to Walgreens? A couple of small shops here, but they do have some daiquiri uh, bar here. And that's pretty much the extent of it, other than going back main lobby. All right, so we're coming back kind of full circle here. You go off to the left here, that is where the garage or pickup is for uh, Ubers, Uber drop off. Now this is where you check in. Now you want some words of advice? Don't stay in this line. I actually came around here, stuck to the exit. Usually I feel bad about doing something like that, but no one using these kiosks. No matter how long the line was, no one was using those kiosks. I just went in there, scanned my code, filled out my information, kicked out my receipt and two keys for a hotel room, and we went up the elevator to level five. All right, so here's the lobby and 
close by are the elevators. And we are in level five. Oh, they gotta get that fixed. But hey, we are on the fifth level. Now this is obviously not the Venetian, uh, but for a place that costs us a little over $210 per night, for four total nights, it's a little over $800, it's hard to beat. And we are in 5082. Now we had, well, let me rephrase that. We had one slight problem and that was this morning. We actually did run out of hot water. I won't say it was ice cold, but then again, it was SHOT Show. I'm sure there's a bunch of SHOT Show people getting ready in the morning, but still it's kind of really no excuse. The water this morning got a little cold um, to the point where you could almost stand it, but we were able to both take a shower. The other previous nights, we had absolutely no issues. Now keep in mind, this is pretty dirty. So we haven't had any hotel service coming here and clean this for at least two days, but just kind of give you an idea of this bathroom. It's actually pretty nice. Um, like I said, once again, it's not the Venetian, but it's not bad, at least for a little over $200 a night. Um, the rooms are not bad. I kind of wish there was more lighting. Um, but let me turn on some of these lights. And like you've seen at the start of this video, we actually got a good view of the back of the main billboard. <laughs> but right across from us is Caesar's Palace. Now, these beds are absolutely comfortable. I don't know what pillow top they're using. I wish we kind of had this at our own house. Uh, both Amanda and myself, uh, we absolutely love these beds. Pillows were great. They actually give you one stiff and one soft pillow. So that was kind of nice. Um, it took us a little while to figure out what was going on with this thermostat, but um, once we figured it out, it wasn't an issue. As for the refrigerator, it works great. Almost works too good to the point where our beer was starting to freeze. That's how cold it was. So absolutely no issues at all with the refrigerator. They do have a hotel safe for us personally. We just don't use one. But all in all, we actually really, really like this. I mean, for a little over $200, uh, I think it was $210 off of Expedia. You know, to get something centrally located, for at least for us, for SHOT Show, if you're going to any shows that involve uh, Caesars Forum or the Venetian Expo, um, this, in my opinion, is about as cheap as it's gonna get without going really, really cheap in regards to inexpensive hotels. Um, we didn't really eat here. Like I mentioned, we went on that main drag just north of the Flamingo there. Food was amazing, um, especially being that we were able to go down to Walgreens. You know, we were able to drink relatively cheap. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tour of the Flamingo Hotel. And if you did scratch my back, I'll continue to scratch yours with not only subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video.